Guys, I really love to make pizza at home. I don't know about you, but I find it really enjoyable. My kids actually like it, I think, better than store-bought, or they're just saying that. And today's recipe is a kind of amalgam of pizza and salad that you get at pizzeria, like an antipasto pizza extravaganza. It's pretty great if I do say so myself. I am using our quick, easy pizza dough, but you can use store-bought if you want to. I've just sliced up some pepperoncini. I'm also going to slice some olives in half. You can use any olives you want. It's about a half a cup of pepperoncini, half a cup of olives, and a half a cup of artichoke hearts. If you don't like any one of those ingredients, you can leave them out, but you wanna have something. What this is doing is adding tang and brine and olives have texture, which uh, my wife Marianne hates, so I would probably leave these out or maybe serve them on the side, but I certainly love them. Artichoke hearts are marinated and so they have seasoning on them. I also have some tomato sauce, low moisture mozzarella cheese because I find that that melts better in the oven. And when I say low moisture mozzarella, I mean your regular mozzarella that you buy at the store. Homemade pizza dough like I said, buy, use store-bought if you want to, but it takes five minutes to put this together, and it is, I think, superior. And I have showed you how to make this recipe on a video, which you can watch if you want to. It's really easy, you just mix some water and yeast and a little bit of sugar and a little bit of olive oil and flour, that's it. Rises in about 45 minutes. So say you came home from work and you mix this together, it would be ready by the time you got all of your ingredients together, you like changed out of your shoes, you put on your cardigan. Oh wait, that's Mr. Rogers, not you. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's pretty fast. I honestly think that like making pizza dough and letting it rise takes about the same amount of time as buying store-bought dough and letting it relax because store-bought dough can be so tense that it's hard to shape. And as you can see, I just pressed this into a nine and a half by 12 and a half inch pan with zero problem. And it didn't even need to sit and I had just removed it from the bowl. That was about three tablespoons of oil in the pan. I put the dough in there and turned it over. Um, you could drizzle it with a little bit more oil, but I can see that I have plenty of oil on here already. You're gonna spoon about three quarters of a cup of your sauce over here. You can use a store-bought sauce. You can use the homemade sauce. Have your oven preheating to 450 degrees. And before you preheat it, either put a pizza stone in there or put a um, rimmed baking sheet, but the larger ones, the half sheet pans, turned upside down. And that will heat up and get nice and hot. And that's what you'll place your pizza pan directly on. And that helps the bottom crust get nice and crispy. Pizza stone is great. And at home, I have a pizza steel that I love. It's made out of steel and it works like a dream. It gets super hot. It's great for this kind of pizza, but also like the, the more Neapolitan style pizzas. They're really, really, really good. And then what you're gonna do, I mean, you can do this however you want. It's eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. You can use part skim if you want to. And then all of those delectable ingredients. I'm gonna use the capicola first. I'm gonna save a few pieces of this to put on top because I like it when some of it gets a little bit crispy and there's so many ingredients in this pizza that I feel like that won't happen. So same thing with the mortadella. It's two ounces each of the mortadella and the capicola. You could use spicy capicola or soppressata here if you wanted to. And then the pepperoncini, olives. Spread it all the way to the edges and then uh, the half a cup of artichoke hearts. Now this is a super hearty family size pizza and I would say it definitely serves four depending on the, si uh, the size of the appetites in your family. And then season it with salt and pepper. Don't go too heavy because all of that stuff is pretty salty, right? That's it. Put this on your pizza stone or on the overturned baking sheet in the oven and cook it until the bottom crust is set and golden. You're not going to really be able to see that, but it should be puffed golden around the edges and bubbling in the center. 20 to 25 minutes. It smells so good. I shouldn't take a bite because I will burn my tongue, but I'm going to that bad. I'm going to slide this out because I just find it easier to cut right on a board and if it's cooked properly it should slide right out. But you don't have to. I just have this weird thing about 
cutting in metal, it's not good for your knife. So I guess it's not really that weird of a thing, right? It's bad for your knife. This is molten, because I just took it out of the oven. <laughs> I can't taste it, but I will cut it and show you how amazing it is. It smells fantastic, like so, so, so good. It is laden with goodies. Everything that you could possibly think of. If you really, really wanted to, if you were like, felt the absolute need, you could sprinkle some dressed arugula on the top of this, like a salad pizza on top of your antipasto, but I really don't think it's necessary. I'll take a delicate, tiny little nibble. It's okay, I'm fine. <laughs> it was totally worth it. It is divine. It's delicious. Please give this recipe a try. Also, write in the comments below if you have any questions or you want any recipes done in particular, anything that you want to talk about. Well, not anything, but you know, within reason, comments below. Thanks for watching. Cheers. If you like recipes like this and you want more, make sure to click like and subscribe because we have plenty more where this came from.